video clip <clears throat> number four, I was asked to read some from my book about bibliolatry, the, uh, an unhealthy uh, worship almost of the Bible. It leads to a little literal interpretation of Scripture, which is very important to so many religious people. But in doing that, they can actually end up arguing so much with people who don't quite agree with them that it creates a wall of separation between people, which is exactly the opposite of what the love of Christ is really all about. We are all one, and uh, that gets lost when the Bible begins to be interpreted literally. And this is a little brief discussion of that. Biblical literalists believe literally because it quells fear, it quells concern and worry. Their most important thing in life is to go to heaven, and they want to be certain that that's going to happen. Uh, and so they hold on. But when I was, do, let me tell you a quick story. I, it'll might take us at five. When Jesus gave the commandment uh, and, and love your neighbor as yourself, imagine this is the way it works. Here's a homeless person, for example. You see them, you decide you're going to help. And you say a prayer in your head to your higher power, whoever. And you say, God, I want to help this person. My intention is honorable. But I hear people, friends of mine, say, you know, don't, don't give them money because they'll just blow it on something. Others will say, well, you know, don't really get involved. You're not a social worker. You're not trained in doing all this. Others will say, well, they have diseases. You don't want to get real close to them. I mean, we pay city and county and state taxes. They're the ones that are supposed to take care of all these people. But I want to help him now. And so I'm going to give him some money, and I'm going to take him to get a sandwich. Uh, I don't know if this is what you want, but this is all I got, so... I hope this is right. And you do that. Okay. There's uncertainty there. There's doubt there. But in that uncertainty and in that doubt is where your faith is born. You know, doing a belief is where your faith is born. And you have to do that, or at least I do, over and over and over again. This is not a one and done kind of thing. To a literalist, to have doubt or lack of certainty is, is a sign of not enough faith. Uh, it, it, it's abhorrent. You don't want to ever go there. And, uh, of course, it's in that doubt that that's the soil that faith grows in. And they're cutting all that off, which is cutting off, for me at least, they're cutting off the power of God in their life by trying to be so damn certain that they've got God in the box and they're going to go to heaven. And to understand how when you are the most vulnerable and moving ahead anyway, that right there is where you will meet your God. And you'll do that over and over and over and over again because situations happen over and over and over again. And don't worry about that. Rejoice in that. Thank you.